Hi, this is uh, Roger Peterson. In this video, we're going to go over the Costa Rica coronavirus lockdown and all the laws and regulations that have been implemented to deal with the effects of the virus. Nacional. Vean ustedes acá, ese es el ambiente que se vive en las afueras de la Facultad de Derecho. The lockdown is being taken very seriously with all beaches, national parks, tourism areas, everything has been shut down and everybody ordered to stay at home that is not providing essential services. The government ordered mandatory lockdown is through April 30th of this year. Um, and you know, the government will continue to monitor it and determine if it needs to extend that time frame. Costa Rica reported its first case of COVID on March 7th of this year. Then a national emergency was declared on March 16th and Costa Rica closed its borders on March 18th. The strategy has been the same as that adopted by other countries, which is to try and flatten the curve. Okay, in this section, let's take a look at the actual lockdown and what it entails. What businesses are open? What businesses must close? How is the lockdown going to affect your day-to-day -day life? Let's take a look at this in more detail. The itemized list that is being displayed on the screen right now is the list of all the establishments that are under a mandatory lockdown. This uh, next list is the activities that are deemed to be exempt from the lockdown because they provide essential services to the public. I'll provide video links to this uh, information for you in the video description of the video. The lockdown also extends to vehicles so that the government has imposed restrictions on license plates so they can't circulate on certain days. So I'm putting that up on the screen for you so you can see, for example, Mondays, license plates one and two cannot circulate, Tuesdays three and four, uh, five and six, and so forth. And then on the weekends, Saturdays even numbers, Sunday odd numbers cannot circulate. On the healthcare front, the two main actors are the Costa Rican Department of Health and the Social Security Administration, which is the manager of the Costa Rican public health care system. The health care system has recently transformed a hospital previously used for rehabilitation into a COVID specialized uh, center. The Costa Rican public health care system has been in existence for 78 years, and it currently operates 29 public hospitals and has over 1,000 basic and preventive care health care centers. Dealing with uh, COVID is going to be a stress test for the system, but we see the local authorities uh, dealing pretty diligently with uh, the situation so far. Okay, next let's switch gears and talk a little bit about what the government is doing for the economic mitigation of the effects that COVID is going to have on the Costa Rican economy. Before the coronavirus, the Costa Rican economy was already struggling, hitting uh, unemployment of 12.4% at the end of 2019. However, tourism, one of the largest foreign revenue generators for the country, was starting to grow significantly and was looking very good for 2020 until COVID uh, hit. As a result, it's now one of the worst hit uh, industries in the country as air, hotels have shut down and the airlines have suspended operations to Costa Rica until further notice. Because of the impact on the labor market, let's look first at the uh, measures taken by the Ministry of Labor regarding uh, mitigation to uh, employment. The first one is the issuance of what's called a bond, protection bond, which is going to provide 125,000 colonies for those that have lost their employment due to uh, COVID and 62,500 colonies per month for those that are underemployed or have to reduce their hours due to COVID. This is a complicated scenario for employers as well, since generally Costa Rican labor laws favor the employee. Uh, there is no termination at will um, as such the government had to implement uh, a new law and a new regulation in order to allow employers to reduce the work hours of their employees and or to be able to suspend the employment contracts in those situations where the employer could no longer afford to carry the workers. On the tax front, the government passed a, a tax relief law. So let's take a look at some of the provisions under that law. Most of the provisions of the law seem to be just uh, deferments of the tax. So for example, they'll defer the VAT tax the only waiver that's included in the law is that it's uh, the VAT tax on commercial leases. Only on commercial leases is waived for three months. If you own a Costa Rican corporation, the filing of the mandatory shareholder disclosure form that was due, the second filing, which is due now in April, has been moved for September. The Costa Rican government has also asked the public and private banks in Costa Rica to implement uh, debt relief measures to help out their customers that are facing uh, financial or economic 
uncertainty due to uh, COVID. So this is being handled by each of the banks on a case-by-case -case basis, so each individual can apply to the bank for debt relief during this emergency uh, period. On the immigration front, as I mentioned, the Costa Rican government closed the border on March 18th, um, and it's now closed until April 30th, at which time they will reevaluate. One important thing you should take note of is that if you are a, a resident of Costa Rica, in other words, you have residency in Costa Rica, if you leave the country, the government has indicated that you will lose your residency status uh, when you return. So bear that in mind before you leave the country. Also, if you have any applications or renewals pending before immigration, so you're going to require some patience because right now they are not taking any appointments or receiving any new applications until after May 17th. Well, I hope you're all safe and healthy, and we hope we get over this virus as soon as possible so that we can all start enjoying the beauties that Costa Rica has to offer once again.